Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Phoenix 6 tutorial video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install third-party watch faces like this one from the Garmin Connect IQ store. So most of these third-party watch faces are free and they're all available in the Garmin Connect IQ store on your phone. So the first thing we need to do is go to our phones and open up the Garmin Connect IQ store. Now, if you've never used the Garmin Connect IQ store, you can easily get to where you can download it and get it installed from the Garmin Connect app. So go into the Garmin Connect app, select the three horizontal lines in the top left, then just scroll down until you see Connect IQ store and this will take you to your respective app store to download it if you don't already have it installed. So I'm just gonna select that. Now that we're in the Garmin Connect IQ store, there are several different things we can download for the Phoenix 6. As you can see in this list, we have watch faces, device apps, data fields, widgets, even music apps, all different kinds of things there. I'm gonna select watch faces. At the time of filming this video, the Phoenix 6 has only been out for a week or two. So there's only a very limited amount of third-party watch faces available. As you can see here in this list, we can go by popular, recent, so these are the ones that were recently uploaded, and then rating. So these are the ones that are gonna be ranked by their rating and reviews from other people who have used the watch face. I'm gonna to go to recent, and then we can see some of the recent watch faces here. Once you find a watch face that you'd like, you can either select download right there to go ahead and download it, or you can select into the watch face, see more information about it, and then also see reviews about it as well. I'm gonna select download. If the watch face contains different data sets from your watch, such as your location or heart rate, you're gonna to need to grant permission for the watch face to use that data. So I'm gonna select okay. As you can see, once we've started downloading it, it says it's queued. We can check the status of that by going back to the main screen of the Garmin Connect IQ store, then selecting your watch at the top right. And then in the list here, we can see the download queue. We can also see all of our downloaded apps and watch faces, everything like that. Now you can keep refreshing this until you see this actually removed from the download queue. Another way to tell if it's been downloaded is your watch will automatically change to that watch face. So as you can see, the watch face has now been installed. Really cool looking, and there's lots of cool data right there, including a graph. Once you have a watch face installed, some of them might have settings of their own that you can modify to include like changing the colors or the data sets that you see on your watch face. And we get to those settings by simply selecting the watch icon in the top right. And then in the list, you select my watch faces. And then as you can see next to the watch, there's a little gear icon, select that, and then you can go into settings. This is also how you would uninstall the watch face by just selecting uninstall. So go into settings. You can see all these available settings in here to change. You can modify the data fields, the font. You can see the color, background color as well. So very customizable, way more than the built-in watch faces on your Phoenix 6. The last thing I wanna show you is how to switch through the different watch faces that you have installed on your Phoenix 6. So we do that by first opening up the menu by holding the up button. Once in here, we'll select watch face. And then we can simply just scroll up and down to see the different ones. And if you see this, this is the tactical watch face. That means that there's an issue with the watch face. So you may wanna try uninstalling it, reinstalling it, or just wait for the developer to fix it. You can leave a comment in the reviews and say, hey, this was not working for me. I get an error symbol, and that will help the developer know, hey, they need to fix their watch face. And then once you're in the list here and you find the watch face you wanna use, just select it using the start or stop button, and then select apply. So that's how you install third-party watch faces on your Phoenix 6. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Phoenix 6 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.